whip, switch to sports mode. Hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. When life switch to sports mode. Hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. Uh. Hey, what's up? It's RJ the Creator, and I'm holding in the road with Mr. Great Fox and Big Bad Hero. Berto! What's good? What's good? What's happening with you, good brother? Nothing much, nothing much. I'm happy to be here, man. Oh, yeah. Thanks for taking the time, man. Hey, look here. Before we get started with anything, any questions, whatever, you got to tell me where you got that chain from, good brother. Well, uh, I made it. Right. Now, it is a combination of both handmade parts and something I purchased. Um, and I purchased the, the actual symbol piece on Amazon. But I didn't like the necklace that came on, so um, went to the local jewelry shop, got some wood pieces that complemented it, put it on some nice cord, nice thick cord, strong cord, because that's why I didn't like the necklace, because it kept breaking. Um, and I made it myself, and it's, it, it doesn't really come off. I can pull it over my head if I have to, but I don't take it off. So that's why I got it, kind of purchased it, mixed it up with my own taste on it, and uh, it don't come off ever. Bro, I'm trying to tell you, I bet you you could sell a million units of those if, if you could find that. Because I'm trying to, I want me one. Yeah. You know, I and, want me and, one. And it's interesting that you say that because everywhere I go, I have people come up asking me, like, stopping me. Like, stopping me. And in, in if I have my camera, if I'm doing something, it kind of catches you off guard because it's like, why is this person stopping me? Am I in any way? But they stop me and you're like, oh, you know, where'd you get that? Especially if I'm at, like, an Afro, Afrocentric or African, you know, African location. Right. Like, they're thinking I purchased it there. So they're right. like, where did you get that from? I'm like, yeah. oh, no, you know, I made this. Right. Can you make me one? Now, yeah. I've had people ask me that, and I've always brushed it off because two parts. One, it's mine, man. I don't, <laughs> piece, you know, I don't want nobody else to have it. When people see this, they don't remember my, they, if they don't remember my name, my face. They right. remember this necklace. Right. So it's a big part of me and my own identity. Right. So that's the first part of why, you know, haven't really entertained it. And the second part is like, like, are you serious? Like, some people just say they want something just mm -hmm. to say it. Like, so if I was here recently, I would have entertained it. And if I was, I would have to find a way to drop ship it. Because talk to my manufacturer, get them to make it. When the orders come in, I send it to them directly from my manufacturer to them. That's the only way I really do it. I'm not really trying to hold them out. Hey, I got these necklaces for y'all. You know, <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do. But uh, if I would, if I were to start my own, be intentional about starting my own line, right. this definitely would be one of the major. Right. Uh, central pieces. Bro, bro, I'm trying to tell you, you got yourself something right there, and I want to score me one as soon as you okay, get that program no, up and running. Definitely, definitely. Maybe I do them in a different color, so they don't, you know. Now, let's get into uh, your, your work. You uh CEO, mm -hmm. content creator. Yes. Non-profits. Yes. Am I, am I, am I missing anything? Uh... No, because some of those things overlap. Because right, 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 right. Like yeah, it's some pretty big umbrellas. Companies. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, yeah. you're not missing anything. Yeah. Uh, let's get into your nonprofits. What What are some of the nonprofits you work with? Who are you working with? So the Capital City Chamber of Commerce is like at the epicenter of what my which nonprofits I work with. Mm -hmm. um, but through that, I also work with our sister uh, chambers, which is the, Tally, the Greater Tallahassee Chamber and the Big Bear Minority Chamber. So mm -hmm. those are the, like... We have three chambers here in Tallahassee. So when you think about nonprofit and leveling up, or scaling your business, or interested in doing it, um, we always encourage you. Always kind of have to go through one of the three chambers, mm -hmm. uh, whichever you choose is depending on what you're doing or how you want to move. Um, that aligns with your business model, but that's the epicenter where my nonprofit work has really like started and developed. So mm -hmm. it's allowed me to scale not only from the chambers, but I also work with local upcoming. Um, nonprofit organizations that are looking to do more beauty expos or on the creative side of things, but also on the business side of meaning like trying to structure their business to be a nonprofit or interested in nonprofit work, but they don't know how to go, how to go about doing it. Mm -hmm. My position as the director of communications allows me to fill in the gap with those resources. Right. Them to either other entities that do that does set service or directly to one of our uh, directors or our members. Okay, okay, that's what's up. Yeah. Now, the next thing, the, the the business that I want to get into is bobbleheads. I didn't know that was you, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's when I me, seen man. that, I, I was like, man, that's 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 a cool idea, man. Yes, uh, yes. Could you explain what bobbleheads is and, you know? So, I, 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 I smile, I smile 
why when I hear you search it, mention it. Because we've been established for like five years here in Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And so what Bobbleheads is, is a silent event company. Um, so similar to all the other silent events throughout the nation. Mm -hmm. um, but we brought it to Tallahassee. So it essentially is, instead of a PA speaker being at your event, you use our headphones. Mm -hmm. So you don't really have to no worry about noise ordinances or really overlapping or noise pollution or anything. Mm -hmm. It allows you to have, the way we say it, innovate the way you gather. So mm. if you're gathering with the monks, R&B, hip-hop, country, you all can do that with our equipment. Because mm. you can have blue dedicated to this channel, red dedicated to this channel, and the green dedicated to a neutral channel or a country. So you can have this innovative way of gathering and not having to worry about the noise pollution. And you can appeal to multiple genres and demographics. Uh, um, the way we do it at home, when we first started, we started doing like house events with our friends and family, mm -hmm. the kids would be watching a movie, mm -hmm. they could hear it on their channel, and the adults, you know, jamming out to old school, uh, you know, tw 2000s music, mm -hmm. doing our thing on another channel, and it just allowed us, allowed, allowed us to do that in one location. Okay. So that's the epicenter of what we do as uh, Bobbleheads, and we do that not only with partying and music, we also do it uh, with fitness. We partner with the city, Tallahassee downtown to do um, yoga on Thursdays at 6 p.m. This is free to the community. Um, and it's something we do every season uh, between the spring and the fall. So Okay, yeah. okay. Now, I know about Baba Heads. Is there any other uh, businesses, uh, you, you know yeah, what I'm saying, that, yeah. you, that you're into? So I'll, I'll list these businesses. If our businesses, um, I feel like a level of, Involvement and where I'm at right now, right? Um, because at the, at the front front row, it's my communications and my multimedia production, which is not new, not digital, right? Right, um, right. And then the following under that is uh, a branch off, which is going to be my nonprofit, which is mm -hmm. the creators, um, which is focused more on content creation and event marketing. Um, so, we are what we like to do is um, empower our community through creativity. All so, right. that's a combination of both community outreach opportunities and service. And the service component is more like, you know, when you need those reels to showcase events that's coming up or to capture this event that's happening, call the creators. You know, All our right. team's going to roll out, capture your video, pictures, you know, and depending on what the project is, whatever turnaround it is, we meet those goals mm -hmm. and that's the deliverables. So those will be the first two that complement communications and marketing. Um, then from there, you had the bobbleheads, which you mentioned before. Right. Um, which is pretty sustainable. It sustains itself at this point. Um, and I run that business with my wife and my best friend and his wife. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, we have mentality. So mentality, well, I should have credited this one first because this is actually my foot, my first step into being an actual business owner was the mentality. And mentality stood for, like, basically it stood for the, what you wear on your head. So the mentality was my brand for hats. So it's my brand for hats. Right. I mean, the idea is to... You know, protect your crown, your, your head. Okay. Your head is the most the most sacred part of your body. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to wear something on my head that protected my mentality. Mm -hmm. Or and for for my brand was no stress. So that's why my tagline is no stress. Um, it's almost like a, a, a affirmation. Um, it's not to say that you know no stress. Or not to say something condescending to people that are stressed. It's mm -hmm. more so saying like. Even in my stressful points, you know, no stress, it's relaxed. No stress. <laughs> right, right. I don't know how else to put that beyond, um, but it's something I definitely have adopted into my vocabulary and I, I wear on my skin, so as a part of it, I wanted to have it on my head, like this. Now, I tell you what, bro, if you could bottle and uh, package that no stress thing and sell that, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. I yeah. mean, <laughs> Uh, move out the way, Bill Gates. What's the other guy name? The uh, don't even matter. Don't even oh yeah, the move them all out the way, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> Here yeah, come Berto. Yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, mentality, all right. man. So that was the last one. Nanuko. Yeah. Now that's an interesting name because I'm, I'm kind of thinking Naruto. I mean, where the inspiration for uh, Nanuko come from, man? Okay, okay. Well, I've been actually when I when I think about and I'm and I'm not I'm gonna answer your question, but. The, to start with your question. Do your thing, bro. I did my video. I started doing video probably like in 2012 when I was introduced to video. Um, started with pictures and through pictures in Adobe. I learned Adobe Photoshop in high school as an elective. People was taking construction. Kind of wish I took construction because okay. it's hands on. Me too. But people were taking construction and I wanted to take, you know, the Photoshop class and get my certification just to, it would just run up my alley as far as like creativity. Um, 
So I took that class and I was introduced to the whole realm of photography and videography. Fast forward to three years ago, at this point I was at my job and I was just looking for something that reflected my me and what I love and my passion. Mm. Naturally it was video. So my wife was like, hey, I see you doing all this work for other people. I see you doing all these, you know, when people call you for videos and this, like you should do that. Right. I'm like, you know, I didn't say anything. And I feel like a lot of times I don't say anything when she has something. When I'm listening, when I'm mm. listening, I don't have to. I don't. I don't have to always have something to say. Right. So she said that, and I took it in, and I think I came back to her the next day. I was like, like, like you kind of right. Like you right. You on to something. So I started doing the homework on what I need to do to get it to basically do what I was doing, but from a more structured place. And my wife and I sat down, and I was like, I don't know what I would call it, but I started talking to her, had a conversation, and through that conversation, my why was revealed. Like. Why do I love video? And my why has something to do with my kids, my mm -hmm. sons particularly. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea that I don't have that much memory of my childhood, you know, because my own traumas or whatever we might credit it to, mm -hmm. I don't recall. You know, oh, we went to Disney World? Like, oh. So I really wanted my kids to be able to see that they went to Disney World, see that they had baseball games, soccer games, how involved they were in the community at young kids because that's going to resonate with their identity and their development. And so when they're trying to understand their why down the line, mm -hmm. they can go to YouTube, which is right. you know, where, it's, where, they, where they are, and say, like, hey, man, like, my dad used to say, I didn't understand what he meant when he, when he, meant when he said this, but mm -hmm. you know, looking at this video as an 18-year-old or a 17-year-old, mm -hmm. like, dang, that was a good time, man. I appreciate you, Dad. You know, that was, that, was like my, that was my why for getting started with video. So once I figured that out, my wife was like, you should name it after your kids then. I was like... I don't know. So she kind of came to the drawing board. And I, this, this name development was heavy on my wife, credit to my wife. Right. Um, so when she came back, she came back with, like, Nanuko. I was like, what, what's that? Like, I'm thinking Japanese. I'm Korean, thinking like, uh, like, uh, Naruto. Naruto. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Naruto, like, what's that? And she's like, it's the first two letters of the three, our three sons' names. Mm -hmm. So knowledge, spelled N-A-L-E-D-G-E, mm -hmm. knowledge, mm -hmm. Nubian, and Coda. Oh, okay. So the first two letters of each name spelled Nanuko. That is exactly Nanuko. what's up, man. That's exactly what's up. And you probably answered uh, my next two or three questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good, bro. I mean, uh, you even talked about where the inspiration came from. Uh, that's dope. And a university, you self-taught, or, uh, oh, you know. Well, when it comes to when it comes to... My passion in filmmaking and real, realistic, what I do is more than just videography. Mm -hmm. um, the difference between me and several other um, videographers and that are fabulous and, and great in their own way, the difference that what I bring to the table is that I do communications in filmmaking. Mm -hmm. So what that the value there is as a communications with a background in public admin, mm -hmm. that's where my school education comes in, public administration, psychology, and uh, criminal justice. I have a I have a distinct ability to adopt policies and procedures. So meaning when I come into your nonprofit, your organization, and we're trying to accomplish this goal, I'm not just looking at that goal. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at what your current policies are, your procedures are, because I want to, this goal is cool, but we want to create some sustainability within this system. So right. yeah, your goal might be here, but if you don't have you know locks on your windows, or locks on your doors, ain't no need to come in here and Put gold bars on the couches, like right, right, I right, could right. Do that, yeah, if yeah. You want, yeah, but, but somebody might want it more than you do. Yeah, and yeah. then yeah, and then let's lock these doors. Let's get some system in place where we can protect this gold, right? Keep this gold going down mm -hmm. the line. So mm -hmm. um, that's the difference between what I do and what somebody else does. But that comes from a combination of field experience and my passion in videography, coupled with my education background, which is in psychology. I have my bachelor's in psychology. My master's in public administration and criminal justice, and I have various certifications in uh, contemporary, theor contemporary theories, mm -hmm. which is marriage and family, social systems. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm losing, yeah, I go. Oh, right, like, you my, my wall is full of these different right, things right, I right. all the time. And then police leadership. So right. what, you answer, say police leadership? Police leadership. Oh, okay. Um, because my, my aspiration at that point was to go ahead and do a, go for federal aspirations. Mm -hmm. So do the same thing at the federal level. Mm. Um, that was that's that was my making of my education background. Taking that and applying it to that federal level within DC or within some realm of it to do mm -hmm. communications and marketing because mm -hmm. it's very needed 
at, at the point when we were having the whole anti-police things and Black Lives Matter. Right. And that's peak of those moments. It was so clear what I wanted to do because before then, I just wanted to do video for law enforcement. And I thought I had to do it a particular way. Like, not by using video, but more so like being a law enforcement officer. Mm -hmm. But in, that, in the realm of media and how relevant social media and how much it played a part into that whole movement, mm -hmm. um, whether it was on the out releasing energies or capturing never before seen the actual footage of this thing happening, mm -hmm. um, it made me realize, like, okay, th there is a place for videography and filmmaking within the law enforcement realm. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I coupled the education with the passion for filmmaking mm -hmm. and leads into professional communications mm. um, and marketing, mm. which I do now. Oh, okay. Let's, let's switch gears for just a minute here, because, uh, you know, with the whole, you know, Black Lives Matter and, and things of that nature, we like to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that the problems in the black community are moderate or extreme? I feel like they're, I feel like they're moderate. Yeah? Um, yeah, I would feel like they're moderate, and, I've, and my answer to that would be heavily related to where I am. Uh -huh. You know, so I know that there are extremes. Uh -huh. But what, what's hitting me is that moderate, uh -huh. um, and I would describe that to be like, okay, like mod something is consistently hitting me in this way, and it's like all the time. It's not a break. I, whereas the extreme is like when the extreme happens, it kind of goes away uh -huh. because once that extreme becomes, in my mind, the extreme but can be somebody's moderate uh -huh. in my thinking because if it's extreme Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that's a becomes pretty moderate, and their extreme kind of steps up from there. Mm -hmm. So where I'm at in my place, I say that that, that pressure is very moderate. Right. Um, so it's not as bad as a lot of us think. I wouldn't say it's not as bad as, uh, that's why it's me. Okay. Not for for where I'm at. Right. Um, so I won't say it's a lot as bad as, as everyone thinks. I think it is. A lot. It's, it's worse than everybody thinks, especially when you sit down and think about, like, like how long has this been going on in different ways and how systems are, are adopted or established. And this kind of goes back into my certifications in, in, in contemporary theories of family and social systems mm -hmm. where you realize like you think that you chose to be a teacher or a provider because, oh, I just really love my community. No, your great-grandfather taught the community. So it's like that, it was a system in place. Mm -hmm that conditioned you to see the value in teaching, to see the value in your community. Even myself, when I look at where I'm doing right now, it's nothing new. Mm -hmm. My grandmother did the same thing. She had a, she, my grandmother and my grandfather had a store in the community in Mobile, mm -hmm. Alabama, mm -hmm. Happy, Hill, uh, Happy Hill Market. Mm -hmm. When you sit down and think about that and what I'm doing now, you're going to see that. It, 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 it's, it's, in, it's, it's in your blood. It's, it's, it's in there. Yeah, yeah. That's who you are. It's your makeup. It's, it's a system oh, that, yeah. that, that has been applied, and you adopted that system, and you, you know, you then knowing that I feel like gives you the power to say, okay, like this is the system. I'm not going to just chill and take it. Mm -hmm. This is the system, but I'm gonna use, you know, what kind of what grants are available, like what funds are available, what resources are available, um, because that's truth to be told, me, my ability to be resourceful. And to take a situation, whether it's, you know, uh, and, and your word exactly was extreme, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it was extreme or not, was to take those extremes and find a way to leverage it. And that's the best way I could put it um, as it relates to, like, taking action towards what's going on to me. Mm -hmm. And so when you ask me that question, I say moderate. It's not to say that it's not, <laughs> that it's not bad. It's probably worse. Mm -hmm. What I can handle right now in this mind, right. I can't handle the fact that all this, you know, I can just... Focus on what I'm doing. Create a system so my children. Right. That, that's my. That, that's uh, so my system is moderate. So my children, you know, it's, they're moderate. It's a little. Right. And as we keep going down, by the time my great kid, grandkids, you know, maybe they like. Well, what you talking about? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Know. Be foreign to. I gotta ask somebody. Let me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's that's the goal. Um, but then we gotta get into is that a reality too? Because I still want them to be aware of their roots. So Right, right. I hope that don't I didn't just take you off on the tangent. Oh no, no, you good, bro. That's like I say, my it's, thoughts on the moderate to Yeah, yeah. And I tell you what, that's a different take. You know, most people we ask this is extreme. Yeah. You know, with the uh, 
you name it, yeah. everything. It's, Gun it, violence it, it, being it, being it, it, numero it's, uno. It's, it, it, and the reason why, and I hope if I had to condense with everything I'm saying, the reason why I wouldn't just jump right to a stream, I could say a stream. Right. But the matter of fact is, they, they've been doing the same thing to us. It's been happening for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, it is a stream, but like I said earlier, when that extreme is happening over time, mm -hmm. it's an extreme. But if it's happening every day, is it an extreme thing? No, at some point, it becomes a moderate, which is scary, which is its own problem, but it just becomes you, you a You're talking about it because you, you, you kind of done got numb to it. Yeah, it yeah. becomes a moderate, and that's yeah. scary. It's your reality. Every day, I wake right. up, it's gunshots outside, yeah. gunshots outside. Right. I came to visit my friend. I'm here gunshots. I'm like, God, dang, what? <laughs> what? Like, what yeah, are you talking yeah, about? yeah. This is moderate. Right. So that's why I say my answer was related where I'm at right now with right. my family and my right. dynamics and my children and our systems that we have, go to school, go to work, pick up the kids, come home, cook dinner. It's a moderate. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, our things are more like, you talk back to your teacher, don't do that. Because right. we're concerned about the future and mm -hmm. how that could be extreme, but it's mm -hmm. a moderate. So. Mm. Berto, man, the energy is just unreal, bro. I mean, that, that no stress thing that you got going on, I mean... I feel it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You, hey, you something special. Check it out. If someone wanted to get in contact with you through any anything that you provide, yeah, how could they do that? Um, I always try to push people to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Um, just because LinkedIn is a platform that has been it's a really untapped as far as a resource. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of ads out there that you know hit your bot up sponsored ads and stuff but mm -hmm. i would really like to see more engagement via linkedin me mm -hmm. personally right so if people want to hit me up they can hit me up via linkedin or they can just look me up on social media that's not nuko dot digital mm -hmm. n-a-n-u-k-o dot digital you can look up my personal which is rj the creator which is rj dot the dot c-r-a-t dot o-r mm -hmm. but that's Bruh. so many ways but those are, the, those are the two ways you can look me up that's what's up bro i mean uh, thanks for sitting down talking to us. Yeah, yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure. Anytime, you know, uh, anytime, oh yeah, oh yeah, and I'm gonna take you up on that now. Yeah, anytime, anytime. Because uh, hey, we've learned from you and we've grown from just you know just being in your presence, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I appreciate. Definitely appreciate it. I love what y'all doing here, man. Like it's it's really it's really when you called me, I was like, yeah, spot on. I'm I'm, I'm gonna be there. That's I don't what's get what up. I gotta do. I bring That's whatever I gotta up. bring to be there. So. That's what's up. I appreciate you all having me. And you know we can't end this without uh, giving a big shout out to our partner D. D. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. D, D, what's up, man? D Appreciate man. you. Five, Appreciate seven, everything, one, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what's up. Uh, yeah, man. But uh, thanks for sitting down and taking the time, bro. Till next time, y'all live right, play fair, high ladders. When life switched to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road, bro. Just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight yeah, yeah, bro. Hold it in the road. Well, it's with a badge. I'll never get a pass. We can see straight through your mask. You made a glass, homie. Just think before you do the dash, cause it might be your last. Lay you in that grass, face down. You should have put your hands up. I promise you the rather got them handcuffs. Look, we need to change our recreation. Let's focus on some education. How about let's fight for our reparations? How about let's teach our next generation? Big Bad Hair, Mr. Gray Fox. When life switch to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road. When life switch to sports mode, hold it in the road. When you get so mad, you can explode. Hold it in the road. Bro, just stay focused on your goal. Don't let them crack the mold. The finish line straight ahead, bro. Hold it in the road.